Hi guys, welcome to the Unpopular Opinion. I'm Kemi. Claire. Prim. And we're real. Well, and, and we are saying, saying it all. all. I see you organizing yourself. <laughs> I also forgot I started on saying it all. <laughs> Today, I was like, I'm not being that disappointed. Like, I'm the one. Thank you for passing it over. It's not Thank me. you. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of The Unpopular Opinion. We are excited that you have chosen to just come back every single week. So thank you. Thank you. We're very, very grateful for your, your time, the community that you've allowed us to build. We appreciate it. Before we move on, please pause and subscribe. Please pause and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah. It's actually important because every time we look at our analytics, there's this big percentage of people who that watch are the not shows, subscribed. Subscribe. It's free and it helps us. We know it's reach. desperate when we ask you, but <laughs> still, here we are. But here we are. Road to Wins. 50k. Yes. Subscribe. Oh, so please subscribe and join, join Father, the family for real. Okay, so today's topic is, actually before we get into our topic, as I have been asking each of us at the beginning, I kind of wondered, be a thing, how are you doing? How are you doing this afternoon? <laughs> now it's afternoon. The truth is, guys, we don't shoot in one episode. But now we're sitting here, we've shot three. <laughs> so how are you feeling this afternoon? There's, I've ordered for fish and water, <laughs> so I'm just really waiting for those things. So and I'm not going to sit here and I'm in anticipation. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm saying about how I pick that posho. Put it with the carrots and then put like a hole put it in my mouth. Cool, cool. That's, that's good. <laughs> that's my goal for today <laughs> to, to get through this episode and I go and. That is legitimate. Claire, how are you feeling? I am good. I am very good. Had a good day, I suppose. <laughs> Just that's it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the end of this week because it's the end of the year, the school year. Mm. Ah, um, yeah. So I'm going to be on leave for six weeks. Uh, parents of your name must be thinking. Hmm. <laughs> more time for school, more school fee. It's like how us should be still like so about to exchange programs mm. and we're like, Never mm. now. exchanging what? <laughs> Dollars <laughs> for <laughs> children? <laughs> what? Anyway, I'll, I maintain that I used to that stuff. Moyingo, Moyingo is here saying, hmm? What do you Me as, as you a minister care? of education. When did I give you six weeks? When did I give you six weeks? <laughs> six weeks. Anyway, um, I mean, so you guys, uh, if you're Internet people, I can't assume just because you're watching this episode, you're on the internet a lot. But you've probably seen a lot of conversations around green flags, red flags in relationships and this and that. And because we've had a couple of conversations around parenting this, this past couple of episodes, we thought we'd round that up on a, like a really positive note with green flags in parenting. Because man, there's a lot of beautiful things that we've experienced, that we've seen others experience. Maybe you have experienced as a parent yourself now. Um, for some of us, just in the capacity of former children, as a former <laughs> child, I have something to contribute to this conversation. When I, and it when is I valid. That, when I say that, I think, anyway, I'm going to be a good I'm going to be a... <laughs> Behave, <laughs> Prim. <laughs> it's too early in the show. Eh? Uh, later. <laughs> later. <laughs> so anyway, in, in, in our different capacities, we just like to share about... Um, Parenting green flags in in different whatever. I, I guess the first thing that came to my mind for me was <laughs> Prim. Okay, let us give you your moment. She should release it. Actually, just get it off let your it go. <laughs> chest. But okay, yeah. Um, I have even put in the point that I was going to start with. To be honest, I just, I can't even find it now. I moved on to bless you, <laughs> and now I I just I don't even know. I'm like, where did I? Where are my notes? Okay. Yes. Um. I think one thing that I, I really appreciate about how my parents parented is that there was never a moment that I thought we were going to lack anything. And even when, like, of course, I don't know if it's fastborn stuff or just every kid sees it. Of course, I could tell times when, mm, yeah, it's not, maybe we haven't had as much as we've had in a certain season, but there was never like a moment of, because I, I think it made me feel so, I think that's why, maybe that's why maybe that's why I repel these men who give girlfriend allowance. I think I think as we get down to the heart of that matter, <laughs> you're the I problem. Think it's, I think it's me that's the problem. You <laughs> have to always be self awareness. Mm -hmm. I think I might be the problem because I just everything was my dad was just, just yeah. my mom is like oh they're giving you pocket money here some more like 
I don't know. So then I'm like, okay, cool. And then they've equipped you. You're like, okay, I've come out into the world to also give myself. I just want to inform you guys on like a side note that even us who had all that stuff, we're we still appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Like every time I hear girls saying with their boyfriend's parent, I'm like, tell me more. <laughs> tell me more. I'm, yeah, I'm about to get into a whole thing, but I really, I feel like it made me very secure. And also I know I, I, it's not about being super rich, but just that there was a way I felt Taken mm, care of. Yeah. Mm. There's no... No scarcity. It's called Yeah, it just felt like... Yeah. Yes, Okumara. like satisfied. Yeah. It just yeah. felt like... Yeah. Yeah, like... That good. whatever they had, they gave me. They never Fully. left anything. There was no holding they never held back. back. Yeah. Yeah. No nothing. Yeah, yeah. So it just made me feel very secure. I never had... I don't know. It never felt like I needed to pursue someone else to give me money or whatever. Mm. It just felt like... Ah, yeah, okay. Mm. It's cool. Such a red flag. Mm? Such a red Green. flag. Green. Green. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so used to talking about red you've flags. Seen, you've, seen those, you've seen that reel, that meme about like us on a table just like shaking our heads like, mm, yeah. Mm. You know how they say mm. girl podcast. Mm. Yeah. 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 Like, yes. Mm. <laughs> Preach. We're <laughs> even about to remove your wig and be like, yeah. yes. <laughs> um, I think okay. for me, the truth is, Generally speaking, I appreciate mostly most of the things our parent, my parents did. Um, so is that we won? Um, so I love the fact that they raised us to be together. Mm-hmm. I love it. Um, it's I've talked about it before, but that is one thing. Like me and my sister, who's a people that's going to come through for me mm. you get and i know it's going to be um though they're those people that i know for a fact will be there for a certain situation you get men not talk every day mm-hmm. um and this I, I talk every day with my sister with zerida um my brother every other day or so my mom every day but they're all my other siblings you get it. so we we my kids are, and also there's those, those values of relationship. Mm. See, I'm a Muganda, and in Uganda we don't have auntie uncle. That is, Mama, uncle Mama. aunties are at the shop. Mm. Mm. You get the chick in the shop at the shop is an uh, is auntie mm-hmm. or your aunt, the mm. uncle. But um, I love that even my nieces and nephews. I have very very many. We have mm. big very big clan. They call me Senga. Mm. I, Auntie Claire, who's your auntie here? Mm. You, and they know it. Mm. They come and say, Siviota si, Senga, Senga Claire, mm. or Mama Claire, mm. Mommy Claire, depending on the relationship mm. you get. And I find that I love that you can automatically tell my relationship to this child when I, you get, they've also even already booked us. That, that's my song, Senga and Songa. Mm. You get it? Eh? So I'm on Senga and Songa already. So when my nieces and nephews are going to grow up, you get, it's just, I love that they instilled that family value in us. Yeah. yeah. You get, I, I really, really appreciate it. It was such a, I told you guys that we'd, when we'd fight, excuse me, where are you going without finishing the fight? You get, I, I know how to fight fair mm. and fight well. Um, so this is something I'm going to teach my child. Something because mm-hmm. I learned the value of family, like it's togetherness, to that togetherness, togetherness yeah. of yes, you might have different lives, but when it comes push comes to shove, mm. you're you there. Teach your children yeah. value you know, and I, I really, really love it. I appreciate it so mm. much, and that's something I'm definitely going to teach in Kinsey. Mm-hmm. Now there's a lot fewer relatives mm. now. <laughs> Because not so many of us, but I have lots of nieces and nephews, but they're much older. But even still, we invite them for things. They come for Sunday lunches. You get the ones that are not around. We call, and they she 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 calls she calls the the twins that are the closest to her age. Calls them my boys, Mm. Mama. I need to talk to my boys. Mm. You get so that, and they also tell their mom, "We want to speak to Kinsey. We Mm. want to speak to Kinsey." So they know Saturday is the day they call each other. And I, it's it's such a value for me. For family. 
yeah. for family, you know, it doesn't matter what's happening around the world when you have your family. So I think that's a, a definite red flag. And mm, red flags are taking. Yeah, here. yeah, we've talked about them too much. We we rarely talk about red flags. Green so flags. I, I would definitely encourage parents if mm. for that relationship, even with siblings. Yeah. You know, sister, brother, mm. definitely. I don't know that about you guys, man. Yeah. You guys surprised me. I was like, <laughs> so these people hang out all the oh, time. The time. <laughs> I'm like, that's nice. You see, when you talk about um, <clears throat> the value of family knowing how important, how you, you knowing, teaching your people, eh? like when you, you know, parental green flags, teaching your people the importance of family and being a united family, I think uh, you can see the chaos that's happening now that, like, okay, still uh, in how when like Kaya has died and you see the turmoil, the chaos that's happening. I recently read and um, there's a gentleman who talks about financial literacy called uh, Kakande. Mm -hmm. I wish I had my phone and I read for you guys um, an article he wrote and someone submitted. And that person talked about, uh, God, I wish I could use his real words, but he said that um, we should not only teach our children about wealth and the values of wealth, but the value of a united family um in in okay like in implying in terms of longevity and you know he says that especially also our he said that the role of family planning the role of a man in family planning when it also comes to um like creating bonds creating bonds yeah. exactly that he said that when you are many this person wrote a story of their family he said there were about 15 children and it was hard for them to sit down. He says their father was not a poor man. He was wealthy by, by those standards. But it was hard for them to actually uh, like agree on how to move forward. Yeah. Because they all belong to different mothers. Yeah. So their mothers would whisper that your father prefers the other children. This is this, this and that and that. He's like, it was quite hard for us to come together and decide on our way forward. Which we are actually seeing happening in this yeah. guy's family. And he says that. It's so important to, first of all, to teach your children from the get go to be united, to be to to ride out hard for one another. But he now also talks about the role of monogamy in in family bonds, right? Because your children are not going to ever see other children as a threat. There will be no mother to, to compare the children and say the ones are more liked. What to poison? Because, yeah, to yeah. poison. Because lately, one thing you see is how. You hear someone saying, can you imagine? He took he took the other person's kids to the US. Even we might have to go. You know, for it's me, yeah, there's a competition. Constantly. So the children, he says that, well, okay, our father made sure we know one another. But he says, our mothers used to whisper that, do you notice that he did this for the other child? Do you notice that he did? So he's like, as a human being, that at some point yeah. uh, deters you. So the value of family bonds is, yeah. is really, really important. For me, a parental green flag that I would like to highlight is two parents who solve their issues amicably without involving their children. Yeah. Without involving their children. Um, without necessarily having to tell your children, your mother is like this and that. You want, you want her to, you know, you want the children to get on your side. Yeah, yeah. Then you want... Then you go and your mother is also there saying, your father is the problem. Mm. He's this and that and that. So this goes for whether you are together or separated. Or separated. It is important that as parents, However bad it gets. Uh -huh, do not ever ask your children to choose between uh, between their you father. or their father. Or vice versa. Because yeah. I've seen that thing where men, the moment the children, the, the men will pay school fees if the children come, come, uh, come and live, live with, with them. Him. Or he's like... You guys are now adults. If you choose your mother, I'll never give you anything. And now the children are torn. They They're do torn. Actually, we are, we are yeah. both their they parents in equal measure. Yeah. yeah, they want to stay with her. They mm -hmm. want to also have a relationship with you, but they are confused. So yeah. our green flag is, is for parents who solve their issues and know that this is about the two of them and their children have nothing to do with you know, their squabbles yeah. and they don't have to ask their children to shoes yeah. yeah i think it's such a shame when when parents do that um for your I, I, it takes a lot of uh, maturity emotional maturity not to use one thing to get back at that person so yeah. if you are in this position i'd like to directly speak to people who are in this specific position and your baby daddy has done a b c and d and you want to 
you know, you want to make it hurt or your baby mama has done something and you want to make it hurt, stop using the children because the person you're actually hurting is the kids. You're hurting your children and they're going to hurt other people as In they the grow run, up. Yeah. Stop. Like, it, it, I, I cannot call it out enough. Stop it. You're hurting the child or the children. Mm. Mm. That's another... Yeah, green David, flag for you, for you now. <laughs> um, another green flag is, I don't, I don't know how to explain it well. Like, I, I, you know how sometimes, and I can imagine. Anyway, again, parenting is so complex. I think it can be easy to coddle a child, yeah. mm. and yet, I feel that being prepared for the outside world is the skill that you you need yeah. it. Yeah. You need it, even as we are loving you. We are preparing you to go forth into mm. the world. I feel like that's a green flag to prepare. I have a friend of mine. I don't know. Her relationship with her son is so nice. I really like There's a way he has independence. Mm. Yes, he's a child and she cares for him. It's not that he's not <laughs> protected or anything. But there's an independence she has. There's a way she lets him decide certain things. Thing. And he makes sensible, by the way, yeah. <laughs> decisions. I remember that day on the phone and she was telling he. he she was telling him, oh, are you home? What are you doing? He said, oh, I'm here. I was thinking of going out and playing. She's like, oh, you can go. She's like, uh, he said, it's too hot now. I mm. think I'll stay inside. And yeah, you like, yeah. a small thing. And I was like, look at him making his good decisions. Yeah. You know, it's just those little, little, He's being able to make little how decisions. How are your children? So you don't feel, you know how you come into the world and you just feel like, I don't know. Yeah. Like even just being able to use a taxi to, mm. I don't know, to know what town, what is in town? What how do you get town? around town? I feel like those things are important. Um, I'm grateful that we got to uh, go and be in the taxi, be exposed, go in yeah. downtown, be, move, move, mm. be there. You can like the level of protection. Eh, I don't know. I think there's a there's like a line where they're going to overprotect and, and just can't deal. Yeah. And yet, I don't know. I mean, the world is the world. What are you going to do? You have to leave the nest at some point. Yeah. So just that that yeah. ability to also release your children yeah. too experience mm -hmm. i feel like that's a, a strong green flag it's really something i so appreciate about um my mom and my dad i i learned about like getting up early waking up early that that i know for sure mm -hmm. my mom and my dad passed it down onto me and it's it's such a very i just want to be like who would want to wake up at five but it's such a very it's a value that i hold dear yeah because I see how it gives you such a head start to the day. It does. Okay. It feels like when the sun comes out, eh, now you're all starting, you start suffering. The noise, it's, 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 there's a way it becomes. But I love that I, for as long as I can remember, my dad used to leave home by like 6, <coughs> like 5.30, 5.40, thereabout, mm -hmm. when it was just like my mom and like the rest of us. My mom hated that thing where she wakes up and the rest of us stay in bed. So she used to bang saucepans, bang cups, <laughs> like so, sort of like a sign. Mm -hmm. And I used to be like, I think this woman just hates that the rest of us are happy. <laughs> lately, I see how I'll, I'll like move around the house and, I, and, I, and Ruth is sleeping and, like, and I'll be annoyed. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Why are you sleeping? Like, even at like seven or eight or nine, she'll mm -hmm. still be sleeping. And, and I'm like, she's I'm back. And I'm like, she and didn't you're, have much to you're do. You're holiday. Like, why don't you just probably wake up, get ahead of your day, like yes. do your things early? Because to this day, my mom is the type of person who have like, you know, like that food Jevasani mm say -hmm. on the sigiri in Gamazo when you gand everything mm -hmm. by like eight a.m. Because she got up, peeled what what five put the food. Most times, like if I'm to wash clothes for myself, like you have no left or something, early. they will by the time the sun comes up. Those clothes are on the hang lines. So I love the, the serenity that those, you know, 5 a.m. gives you, 5 yeah. and 6. It feels like there's so much decision, so much life-changing decisions that are made yeah, in yeah. that kakam hour. So I, I like that she exposed us to work. And one of the values my mom taught me is hard work. I saw yeah. that in her, like, I keep asking her, how did you do it? There's a time I called her in the morning, and I was like, how did you do it all these years? Because what How you did you wake up every morning and you never gave up? Every morning, be it Monday, be it Sunday, you were up early going to work. So there are times I wake up and by, I always think about my mom like at 5 a.m. I think about her. And there are times I'll call her like at 5. Mm -hmm. I think about her and I'm like, hey, I saw this woman do this for, all, for like over 20 years without ever, you know, like <coughs> stopping. So 
man i appreciate yeah. i appreciate that yeah i think yeah. one thing i i remember very well and then i appreciate his information Ooh. information mm. yeah you know so you know how information. we hide things from kids mm. yes like oh, if you buy land why are you hiding it from your children oh, you're right oh that's if such you a have great an plug. Invest, investment you yeah. 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 obviously you get obviously you, you have to use caution mm. and age and the way you tell mm. it's mine not yours mm. and things and there's caution there but obviously give them information. but i think the one thing i really appreciated about my family is open communication yeah information yeah you know so and i saw it when <clears throat> my grand when my grandfather died he left a lot of property uh, the his family home mm-hmm. he had left it to my my uh, my uncle his mm-hmm. oldest son mm-hmm. but remember it's a matrimonial home so that's mm-hmm. null and void mm-hmm. you cannot give a matrimonial home when mm-hmm. the wife is still around that's the law mm-hmm. now for us we had the information you know our mother told us the information we were kids at that time mm. but they they things happened and they decided that even including the guy who the son that they had they, given the property mm. to he said this is not my property yeah mm-hmm. it's my mom's mm. so he even went and got her letters of administration yeah. in her name mm. fast forward 20 years later m- my uncle dies the first born my mm. my mother's first br- brother he dies guess who comes and claims the house his son tells my grandmother pack up sign over let um title yeah oh, that's sign I mean. over yeah. the title because he is the firstborn of the firstborn yeah. who was supposed to get the uh, land, the house <clears throat> now for us since we were young we had been told it was very clear that this guy everyone including the son who was given mm. the property said this is not fair mm. i cannot take this property it's mm. my mother's mm because they had information. Mm. Unfortunately, these are the only very close cousins of mine that I actually call cousins mm. because even they're not cousins, they are my ex- ex-cousins. Um <laughs> you know, they tell me that uh, you think I cannot cut you out. Ask my ex-family. <laughs> that's that's exactly what it is because what happened then is when he that the uncle my uncle died, they came and took my grandmother to court for mm. 10 years. Oh, damn. Th- this guy i grew up with him he's almost exactly my age we were born a yeah. month apart his mother breastfed me yeah like how can you get it for your we so out here waiting for so he oh, came but... and said eh? he told my grandmother proof that you put a brick on this house you guys oh the God. level of audacity yeah but also i've also learned that your actions mm. you're not getting away with them yeah you get you're not getting away with them You can tell the kind of life someone's going to live by the way they right. treat people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just automatic. You might not see it because I don't even know having yeah. heard from them. Wait, it's been years since that's, we talked. That's a really good example you you've given, especially like clear I know that people feel like oh let's not write a will. Mm-hmm. It's um mm-hmm. it's bisida and it's like a bad omen or whatever. Yeah. But especially when it comes to property Information. Yeah. Information. When people hide information yeah. yes like give information yes. give information i know that sometimes men feel like let me not tell my wife that i have land here let me not uh, let It's me hide mistake. this and that then guess what who loves your mistake. children more than you do yeah. or your you wife. know as much as you yeah. your wife information let children know that this like let your children know that this house we live in mm. this property belongs to us so that your children if something ever happened so you see that conf- they would know yeah so if you see the confusion in uh when mm. kaya dies yeah like you guess there's the shock by the like i i saw um <clears throat> a clip where they were like reading the will like oh and oh, you know when he's like talking about his you know when he's talking about his uh, family dynamics yeah. and stuff And is related to us like that bobe the baba di wali this ones came from you guys That's my such mother a green i know plug. all the data. information so, uh, we she has been very open even my dad mm. was very open on our family relations mm. 
you get. Even just like <coughs> the <coughs> things. Do you notice how these days you go to hospital and they ask you, does anyone in your family, did anyone in your family die of diabetes? And you're like, you're like, no. You have but never, and yet you they are. Your auntie <laughs> had it. Yeah. Your uncle yeah. had it. Yeah. But but then for you, you just kept hearing that your auntie is sick. Meanwhile, you are old enough to comprehend yeah. diabetes because yeah. that helps you live a different life. Yeah. Knowing that you are susceptible yeah. to. Mm. So did anyone, does anyone in your family have high blood pressure? You've been seeing your mother taking medication or father. You, you don't, don't know what they are taking it for. You just keep saying, you don't know have no that they are idea. taking it because of high blood pressure. Yeah. And like, it's important for us to have information. Yeah. That's information about Thank you health, by for the way. talking about that. Health Thank you. relation. Because another thing that I really appreciate that I'm close I know all my my immediate my family yeah mm-hmm. you get one thing I will do is show my child my child or my children if I have many um their relations yeah their relatives incest because these so days you, you go to the bar yeah I am prim I am John yeah, yeah. you end up in the bedroom in some with kind your cousin. In, with your cousin your very close cousin yeah mm-hmm. you get i don't know about other so tribes but us in Buganda, what's wrong with that <laughs> she's like in so Buganda, like, um, it's it even yeah. someone with like your same clan yeah. yeah even if you're not blood related my friend just enter everyone now has all access to pearl magic pride Cassie, give this man some biscuits they're over. But you see these people here? They're on DSTV access, like you. But now they can watch big shows like Sanyu. Or they can watch Beloved and they cry. They have got on these kids. This is your home of entertainment. Now I feel like the Baganda just don't want us to breed and continue <laughs> the lineage and culture because honestly, well, now when it comes to now like the clans and everything, either it's sure you're that many that we're all going to share you. <laughs> Because I feel like if we say that oh, we're mamba, again, no, we're mamba. It's like, and no, you're now limiting you can, the number of people that I can date. It's achieved there. It's an abomination. You but can't you're limiting the number of people that we can date. You get, you especially you on your to... dad's side, but even on your mom's side, it is questionable. Yeah. Even on your, it's highly, Those highly questionable. My mother is also called Nachimuri. Uh huh. I feel like you, you get, and remember, you find out home. second names. We do, we don't do second names those now. Those are okay. the best. Yeah. Mm. Let us. No, no, no. But also, let us just stick to Mukisa Ten. All those ones that don't have. And then, (laughs) yeah, because but when you told me, first of all, let us know. Okay, fine, I won't date my cousin. Okay, I've forgiven you and left my cousins alone. Then le, 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 now we also move on to clans, you guys. Like, do you understand? Yeah. Like, many, you're yeah? narrowing down. You are narrowing down my 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 fishing circle. Like, <laughs> like you know, like you know how Jesus said, "I'll make you fishers of men." Like, now who am I going to fish? <laughs> who, are you going to fish? <laughs> who am I fishing? Not Jesus. <laughs> who but am I, I think fishing? it's 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 very 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 like because but again, there are so many rip, those blue jeans that are. You get that. information. Yeah. When you're, and the truth is, tribes came from, I mean, clans came from originally, families. they came from fl- family. Mm. So the chances of you being even slightly related, mm. because me, even if you're hurt. slightly related, mm. I think yeah, I'm such hi. a Buganda. I cannot. I can't, even if we're slightly the related. The always just happy to say, <laughs> just from my own my cousin. <laughs> then the aunt that they married will stand up and wave to the group. Then you find that. Your uncle who is coming to choose for you, a wife, like tell her to me. the wife is also from that same family. Then by us, you find, do you ever find like all of us be attending the same functions? Yes. Because you're all related. They have to even attend you like, why should I sit on the side of the guy or oh, the chick? Because you don't you know, know. I know both. Each and everyone. So thankfully, by the way, that they, I don't know, our kingdom is not that serious because we would really be limited. <laughs> but um, on the topic of information, yeah, I feel like it's the most important highlight that everyone should take away from parenting yeah. green flags it's, yeah. it's an amazing point there are parents who have raised parents and guardians who have raised children that are hiv positive and they've not told them they just they are diligent so with they're the just meds. out there spreading it they're dealing knowing, with the meds they're giving them the meds you know like uh, some That's of us who lost parents like in that 2000 or something mm. they you'll find that they take
onto you. It's not the end of life. Now take your medication. This is how you can also protect yourself from contracting, let's say, HIV from other people that carry different, you know, yeah. versions or, you know, you, so, you also have to protect yourself. It doesn't mean that you should go and sleep with, with other people. people. Be careful with razor blades. Be careful with such and such things because they could harm you. They could, yeah, they could others. affect you. Be careful how you interact with other people. Make sure you don't use the same <clears throat> syringe that, and then give it to other people people when you're in school make mm. sure you don't share razor blades with other kids before we are not giving, giving enough information because it's like it feels mm. like eh, they're like we always keep thinking they are young yeah yeah and like fiona said there's like a whole there's a thin line between um protecting them and not actually exposing them and giving yeah. them information the thing of health anyway this information thing is so wide and so important because i remember um a friend of mine getting fibroids mm. and she didn't know like by the time she was like telling now her mom her mom is like oh i've had it and all my sisters have as well mm. and she was and we were here in our 30, and mm. she was like why Please. did i know because she found out so much later on yeah. like it had progressed it could have been She's it like, could have been prevented why didn't tell yeah. me? and i'm like but we have like a secrecy mm. secrecy culture, in our culture which is yes. like oh maybe if they hear that we have that this in this family they'll they'll, you know, look at us a certain way or whatever. And then we leave mm. children and we grow into adults not knowing yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. really, really important stuff yeah. because why wouldn't you know that? Yeah. So that you can Because it affects you directly. Yeah. So the viewers, go check under the mattress. That's where the secrets are hidden. <laughs> the land titles you want, the birth Everything is under the mattress. The diagnosis you want, the what, 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 under the mattress. Go to your parents' yeah. mattress, under there, check. So oh, I if you know what's case. another... Green flag in parenting you'd like um, to Another green flag is I love you. Mm. I know, I mean, obviously we are here, you know, African society and most of us grew up with very few I love yous. Mm. And it's not to say that we don't know that our parents love us. We know that they love us. However, it's important to be affirmed in that way. Yes, I see you providing for me. I know, you know the things of parents of, I've never had I love you and they're like, what about those shoes there? Who bought them? I for know. <laughs> this school that you're going to, who paid for it? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that all stuff. That stuff is all great. Mm. Um, but I, first of all, you lose nothing, mm. and I think it means something to the children you're raising. My mother would rather give you a prayer <laughs> Same. than saying "kwaganyo." Like her Same. form of love is her form of "I love you." By the way, is sending you like a, a, a YouTube link to some ka song. Mm. I know, or like those before words that <laughs> have like, like Jesus words, and like flowers. Jesus. <laughs> you know them of good morning with Jesus and flowers. Yes, with like a sun <laughs> and in purple. Yes. It has like a heart somewhere. That's you. I love you. <laughs> I think it's an important mm -hmm. thing. I found that as I got older, was, eh, I was, it's looking back that I'm like, eh, I could have used a couple of more I love yous. <laughs> and even now, I could use them by the way, so that they ever expire. Yeah. Because I don't, I, I, and I keep saying, like, meeting my best friend was such a turning point for me in life. Mm -hmm. Because I read her and her, she's really close to her mom and they were they are full of I love you's mm. and I couldn't believe it. I, I said you guys are here in Africa. Mm. Uganda Kampala and you're saying I love you, I love you. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. So even the first time a guy tells you he loves you, like, huh? Mm. What are you meaning? <laughs> are we marrying Why tomorrow? Are you those Why things? are you asking too much? <laughs> are you <you're> suspicious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that career you sent me? Which one? The career you sent my dear, but when you find someone who <laughs> People do some things for you and just get and suspicious. Yeah, so like, like, you people are suspicious. Leave me alone. Because no one ever did them for Why you. Why are you telling me up? I love you? Are you mad? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I think I love you. Yeah. Are a green flag. Affirmations. I think something that I really, really appreciated. It's a really big green flag. Is open door policy. Mm. In um in our home with Free my life, parents, come home. there is absolutely nothing we could do. Nothing I that we couldn't go children. back Free to them home. for. That's mm. Absolutely nothing. I was telling you earlier that for us, even when we were bad in school, yeah, in front of the teachers, my parents are for us. Then when we go home, they roast us. Mm. You get mm -hmm. like there's a time when S5. This is the time we went to the year we spent in Mengo Senior Secondary School. <laughs> yeah, Claire, no, she said S8. traumatized, traumatized. Anyway. <laughs> Was at this school, they even had so hostels, the day school, and they would eat rice. They drop us in the morning and so pick us really... in the evening. I was traumatized, anyway. So, uh, we, we for that because the learning, the style of learning was completely different, different from what we were supposed to. Yeah, 
failed flunked <laughs> like zero points i'm going to be serious <laughs> The type of learning was different. They're probably using, using Mar- you know, those Mac bundles of Kale A plus B. When they show you your covalent bonds, they show you C and H. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going Anyway, so I remember first term, S5, we failed. My sister and I, when I say we, actually even my brother, my brother is like a few years younger. Yeah. But my sister and I fail, failed. Like zero, I got zero, she got one. No, I got one, she got two points. Wow. That's how bad it was. was no. Now, was they call their parents eh, mm. that if you've oh, gotten percent. anything below by 11 po- over nine points, we've mm. chopped bring you. your parents. Mm. No, bring your parents if you want to come back next year. They term. need to see who gave birth. <laughs> to was, you. I feel like schools just wanted to see to <laughs> attach <laughs> to match her face and say so, <laughs> so we didn't go we didn't go we're like no not not no because I mean we we're from a school where we could actually say no things mm. like that so we, now when we come back first day yeah they are BOTs for, of, yes mm. we haven't prepared for them mm. now you can't sit a BOT unless you picked your report mm. with your parent and the reports were given on that day we used to call it Chogam because it was the biggest meeting of the whole school <laughs> Of kids that have failed. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so my parents were both called that day. So they, they told us. Now, <laughs> you guys. Um, so this is what happened. We get to school. We're sitting. We're ready for our paper we are not ready for. Mm-hmm. So a teacher comes in and says, if you're not, if you hear your name, just stand up and match out. Don't bother bargaining. Stand up and match out. So <laughs> the man comes. And he reads, he reads, then finally he reads, he reads my name and he reads my sister's That's name. We're in the same class. Point. That's Kobe. Now I'm putting it out. Hey, me, I was relieved. I put my pen down. I closed my paper. I stood up. I got my bag. And I was marching to the gate. Mm-hmm. Now, when I, as, when I went to get my bag, I, I came by. Now, mm-hmm. first we went straight to go to our bags. The instructions were clear. Go. Anyway, so we found a group of students, other students begging the teacher. What so we passed like, them? Oh. No, we passed them going to the gate. Like, so he saw us. He's there. like, uh, he called us back. He's like, uh huh. So do, do you not see what I'm doing? He's like, but he told us to leave. Hmm. He's like, but for you, you see, what do you think your friends are he doing here? He's like, but sir, you said, do not begin, don't mm-hmm. plead, don't beg, just march out. So that's what we the man was. The man was so dumbfounded. <laughs> We j- he just said, okay, you go. So anyway, we go home. And my brother had also been one of in his class, one of the ones that did pass as well. <laughs> so my brother, him, he was younger. But for him, first we got on, we got into a taxi, went to the park, went home. My brother, for him, he couldn't do that. Yeah. You get So we didn't know he, for him, he was part of this as well. Yeah. Because we would have got him and went. Mm. And gone with him, sorry. So anyway, so he, he calls my parents. He said, they told me, I can't sit the BOTs unless you've come. So now for us rebellious ones, we had already gone home. <laughs> so my parents come, they realize we were also part of the people that were just so they come, they now they they told them they need to go home, bring us back the next day. My parents were livid. Anyway, so in front of the faculty, they, they my dad told them, Nemu, eh? Watch you malirobude. Yeah? Why do you call me here? This is your job. Between eight to five, Abana and Babawa. You get, you're the one, it's your job. Do I, do you, do I call you to my job? Anyway, my, yeah. my parents roasted the teachers. Mm-hmm. Eh? And then came, then they told them what happened, Vichy. Then my parents came home. So in front of the teachers, they were it on is the right. yeah. front. At home, ma, like, ma, I've never received a lecture quite like that one. I thought I like thought she was going idiot. to say canes. Uh, canes. My parents didn't hit us. They, they really didn't. Mm-hmm. Anyway, they lectured us. I felt like such an idiot. Eh? And then they said at the end of that, they said, you're going to go back to school and you're going to apologize mm. to your teachers. Yeah. So that there's that way that I knew there's we nothing I could you. do yeah. that my parents couldn't. Mm. You get it? Because mm. they, they would come home and they, they would, if they had to take our phones, they would take our phones. If they had to mm. do whatever <sighs> you get. <laughs> that was the punishment. Eh? What is wow. the problem? <laughs> The punishment yes, I could was tell so many stories. <laughs> Take your phone. So me, I'm like, no. Let me when tell you our punishment. Ten, ah, when we were getting 11 and 10 to share me and my sister when I was 19, that 
Why you are you to cut off your hair? Because that's the only thing you were both you had. That's all I had. Maybe my hair. We were in schools of hair. You guys, let me let me first finish this one. So you know our punishment. Our punishments. Our punishments. I'm not even joking. We keep telling our parents what my mom. Our parents. So when we started going out, they used to find out that we are escaping from home. Um, then they punish us. You know what our punishment was? So they would pick us up from school. Mm-hmm. And we loved that, that independence of taking ourselves to school, okay. taking ourselves home. Yeah. You know, with, so then that means, because so when they pick us up, they pick us up at four. Three thirty between three thirty and four, they were there. Okay. So we'd Your be home by four thirty. Your classes were not ending at six, and you shower in <laughs> twenty. We'd finish at three, and you shower in three. Three, three, three between three and three thirty, depending on the day. Yeah, we so, just start a podcast you of your <laughs> own, a podcast for international you school kids. Just start your podcast of your own, and then ask because you can let us into your world. Like, I'm, I am letting you into my world <laughs> through the window of. <laughs> <and> then, <laughs> are you going for this gala that people were making fun of on Twitter? Are you going for Which gala? You better it's some international schools league. I'm not in school. <laughs> and you guys must anyway, be having like a group so a they, they they would pick us up yeah so but we loved going home at like six after all the drama at school is done mm-hmm. so and my there's no way my parents are going to come so that that independence of they give us money mm-hmm. so we'd walk with some of our friends to the park and then take a taxi home mm-hmm. That was so much fun and we loved it. You know what our punishment was? You're being picked up at three thirty. <laughs> You guys, it hurt. No money, then they didn't. They wouldn't give us money. They mm-hmm. they deliver for us food at school at lunch time. Anyway, take away. You remind me of Dick and Santi. There's a time we told her but to start making for her like meals uh-huh. and putting them in a flask for him to go with them to school because he can't, he can't do it. Those, those, that food, he can't the food at school is but bad. You, see, you can't live in Dick's house and you're feeling kawab. And you eat school. anywhere else. But, like, but remember, Mark. Mark, the brother, who also lives in the same home, would even, I don't know, eat, eat, like if they gave him the, the bottom things on the sofa. He would eat. He would eat. There's always different kids. There's always different kids. Because my brother was not it's an so much like kid. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it was so much. That's, that's just behind. That's a side note. So yeah. okay. Our punishments were, and they would hurt me either. Yeah. When they tell you they're not giving you transport money. You're like, no. Or they're not giving you cash. Because we'd get, get, that. The, get that money, and then you buy what you want and keep mm-hmm. the rest for airtime. Me the only you get that. If you air don't have put on money, you have no airtime. Yeah, and then they would deliver for us food. Our means of like around the time, how old were you guys? Yeah. High school. My yeah, but our high school means of communication broad, was like, what? Um, uh, S4. You know those uh, teams? Uh, what was I doing with airtime in S1? Yeah, know? right. Like, no, was I was from S1. Those teams of, uh, you know, Safi. You remember Safi? Yeah, of course. Where you'd put a string in one tin and another. Then right, the other person puts on the ear. Yes. I and grew up in Uganda. I also check. know Cool Cool Bar. <laughs> but th- that was the only way you would communicate with your neighbor. Like no, they go with a cut string that is connected to the cut the cutin, and then you speak and they put the cutin on their ear. That was the first mode of communication. <laughs> that's how we that's how we discovered. That's how we discovered. Yeah, the phone, Graham oh, Bell. I think yeah. anyway. So that was a side note. Okay. And those are things I really, really appreciated about. Like they um, found yeah. punishments that really hurt. They, they hurt. They didn't hurt. Not hurt really, but they were appropriate mm-hmm. for that. No, if they beat us. I also found beating to be very because uh, whether even us, they actually didn't beat us at home. I found beating in Sunsas because of course me as in Lohana Academy enjoying life. Mm-hmm. Going for disco. To we used to have disco at school. Oh, Lohana Academy was just. Wow. Anyway, so I found it in Sunsas and I found it to be very useless. Mm. Why? You resist, like, you, I mean, you, you build resistance. It becomes very useless. I don't understand why they would beat us, we stand up and keep yeah, moving. And yeah. continuing doing even the things that they were beating <laughs> us for. My mom beat like, us. what has this beating achieved? Yeah. Yeah. My mom beat us. She would even marinate us. Like, she, she had four a play. On beating us, oh, <laughs> should spend <laughs> days. Should spend days <laughs> getting you ready. Giving, you, you know. Then she would keep saying, like my mother, my hated my happiness, me and my brother. Because should he ask laughing? She's like, I saw my camera. She's like, she's like, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's like nyo, thank you. Mo msla hom sheke kempsi mla chakura. She's like, because I knew actually we would now have to like regulate the happiness. Don't laugh loudly because you your mother will find yeah. something. She just Don't be warning. She's like, hmm. Okay. The way you're laughing. <laughs> Seems you have you right for now. you you're, you're ready for a My dad used to I beat us calm you before down. we committed the crime. Uh-huh. As in there's a time he used to warn us, deter us from walking on the main road. Mm-hmm. He wanted us to take shortcuts where there are like no cars. My dad would come, put us down, cane us, then he says, 
uh, he's like, someone told me you used the main road. Just lie down. As you swear, <coughs> we didn't <coughs> use it. We didn't use it. Mm. He's like, no, someone told me they saw you. That's he canes us. Then after he says, that is to prepare you for well, the time. <laughs> for when you use that main <laughs> road. <laughs> like, but uh, uh, me, my parents really came in us. lieu of the but actual was, <laughs> scene. My mom came us. Yeah. How was Fane would come when she has marinated you properly and told you that mm. anytime now, anytime now, and you wait yeah. days for your punishment? <clears throat> how do, how were you punished at home? Um, it's weird. Like, I don't remember the exact ways. I know the words. I don't know why. I think I blocked some parts of my childhood. Mm, some. Yeah. There's some things I think about and I can't remember them. Mm. But I just know that my mom probably was more of the like disciplinarian. Mm. But she never beat us. I feel like, I don't know, she would have like those, oh, what can I call it? There's a special African mom way of putting she you in a spot the eye. where you're being the gay. Eye, it's like there's just... even like, it's like fire is upon you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what's next. Like you just, I don't know, I feel like she would put you in that spot and just say some words. Yeah. That's ah, that. I think moms can say some words and you're like huh? she, used, she used to cancel us when electricity goes off that actually for me that was a mental <laughs> punishment when electricity would go off of which you remember <laughs> well, on the candle like, on the card then she, she tells you it. about which person did listen to their parents and now then they, they do, did what now they then she'll give you an example of Vangirini in their village who decided to go against her parents now over where is she mm. then she would I think your mom's like those stories eh, no. then we would behave my brother and I would behave for like the next two, two days, days. <laughs> the end my mom used to be like we had a huge tree near our home and my mom would be like, she's just like, she's like, those birds, those birds have had me calling you so much that they now know your name. <laughs> she'd be like, no, no. why don't you be like other children who don't obey the day? We have for two days after that, I don't even know where that demon back comes from. Sitting. Steals yeah. everything. And you, you go, go back, back yeah. to wherever you came back. from. The devil is I alive. I think my last one Exporting is... Um, I think it was it's, it's a, something I really want to take into my parenthood mm -hmm. is making sure my child enjoys her childhood. Mm -hmm. Letting children be, be children. children. Letting yeah. her be yeah. a child, regardless of what's going on around her. Yeah. Keeping Don't her so in your children. Try as much as possible. Thank you. Of course, I go through my own stuff, but when I'm with my daughter, I try as much as possible. You get, and also another thing is, I think um, I saw a video at uh, a video at TikTok where it said that the quality of the happiness of the mother mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is what determines the how well your children are raised or how the childhood, mm -hmm. how rich their the childhood is. Child. Mm -hmm. If you're constantly um, fee storing pain here. It will come out. Mm. Mm, yeah. It will come out, and it will come out on your children mm -hmm. because they're the is the the lowest hanging fruit, you know. So it it and that's something I think I really really appreciate is the fact that we were not spoiled. I don't think I'm spoiled. Mm -hmm. You get. I was just allowed to be a child yeah. for the longest time possible. So there's so many things I only learned as an adult. I'm still learning now. Yeah. I really appreciate. I appreciate the that about. I just got to be a kid. Parents. I got to be a kid. I had yeah. a wonderful childhood. Yeah. I do not regret much, actually, if anything. Mm. I don't regret anything about yeah. my childhood. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> it was. That's important. Yeah. You okay. Children. I think we're going to we're going to wrap mm -hmm. up. I know yeah. we're over our usual yeah. time. Because mm -hmm. um, there's, I mean, I hope that. Some of these green flags, you know, that there are things you guys could relate to, and People hopefully, also share things. some. Hmm? People can share some in the comments. Yeah, please do, please do share really nice. some of the green flags that you've experienced, and maybe the ones you're passing on to mm. your your children. And uh, maybe that can also be like a conversation. First, two these conversations of now, Prima's not looked at Fiona. Fiona has not looked uh, at. Oh me. my God! This one, <laughs> Halek was like this, and we saw her thigh. Now, hey guys, let's give it a break. Let's talk about important things. So <laughs> we appreciate you for joining us this week, and as always, a very very big thank you to Nzo Media Hub. They are the beautiful space that you see us in. All the set design, the production, the sound. Oh, guys, Emphasis on you guys sound. know the struggle we've gone through. The sound, the beautiful sound. Um, please do check them out in our description box. And the amazing DSTV supporters of local content. Okay. Power Magic Prime is now on access. When I say access, you guys know by now that's the cheapest. We are saying that even if you have your 45K, go and get yourself. Yes, it is just like 
everyone bliomu femwe mwefe let's all be together in this group so please do check out the links in our in our description box so that you can subscribe today in fact yeah. you can subscribe today so until next time see you bye bye bye, bye.